Hey, I'm Ben Rellis. I started the YouTube channel Barely Political, and this is our YouTube story. White folks! White folks! I hate you so much. So the first video that I posted on Barely Political was a love song about Senator Barack Obama who had just announced that he was running for president. So I called Leah Kaufman, who I had done songs with in the past for YouTube, and pitched her the idea. So when I got the call from Ben, I was uh, really excited to start working on another song. So I got together with Rick Frederick, who's a producer in Philadelphia, and we started kicking around lyrics. Because Leah was a student, we had to find ourselves an Obama girl, and I was fortunate to find Amber Lee Ettinger to play the part. I told them, I'm like, I'm shooting this really funny video, it's about Barack Obama, and like, a lot of people were like, about what? About who? Like, a lot of people didn't really know even what I was talking about at the time, so I was like, ah, oh, forget it, you know, you'll see it when it comes out. Then, he said that he wanted to, you know, do this video, and uh, he was thinking of, like, references like JoJo, whatever, but once we spoke to Amber and kind of heard the music more and more, that's when Lara and I said, let's just make it look like a cheesy R&B video. And the next day, it just exploded. The day after the video came out, all of this attention started being put on the video. It was on The View, and it was on Fox News, and Glenn Beck was hitting on Amber on CNN. He's hot, you're hot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Both Michelle and Barack, can I call you Barack? Um, both of them saw the video, obviously, and then commented to the press about it. And I know Michelle's comment was something along the lines of, if someone thinks my husband is cute, more power to them. And Barack's comment was, I wish people would think a little bit more closer about what they post on the internet. <laughs> so after that first video, we decided to do a follow-up. So I got together with Leah and Amber and we decided to do Giuliani Girl because Rudy Giuliani was the front runner and very likely nominee for the Republican Party. Ben calls me and he's like, we want to do a follow-up. More crushing Obama. It's going to be Obama Girl versus Giuliani Girl. I promised my boss at the time, but we'll keep it under control. We won't let it get to crazy. That crushing Obama one was a little chaotic. We're going to keep the chaos under control. So Ben and Kevin and Larry and the crew come in with like six girls in bikinis or in, in skimpy outfits and they're dancing and he, he comes in with the boombox blaring the song Obama Girl vs. Giuliani Girl. My boss and all these people are looking at me like, what are you doing to our nice uh, sane workplace? I was like, well, everybody, this is Ben Rellis, you know, so. Also with Obama Girl, we did a sketch with Ralph Nader where he was in a sitcom with Amber. Hey, Obama Girl, how do I check out some of your videos? Well, just type in YouTube.com. Huh. <laughs> we did a uh, sketch with Mike Ravel, who was a senator, who did the Soldier Boy in Central Park. MC Gravella helicopter up in his, his house. In addition to all these Obama Girl videos, we also started doing a lot of other sketches. The majority of those written by Rusty Ward, who is a friend of mine and a stand-up comic in New York. So some footage was uh, uploaded to YouTube of Bill O'Reilly, um, I guess about 10 or 15 years ago on Inside Edition, where he freaked out. We, we wanted to do something. Uh, we wanted to do something that was basically a response to it. and. Um, we came up with the idea of, well, why don't I be this producer, this guy who's basically be on the other end. I'll write it and we'll do it live. How are you going to write it? You can't even read it, you troglodyte homunculus. Uh, Bill O'Reilly, I don't think he liked it very much. With Barely Political, we also wanted to work with other YouTube creators, and I was uh, lucky enough to find Michael Stevens, who was a student at the University of Chicago and doing all these kind of ridiculous political mashups while he was in school. I made another video about Mitt Romney like showing up on Gilligan's Island and I sent it over to him and he was like, oh my gosh, and he immediately called me and said, let's start collaborating. The, the, one of the first videos I did for Barely Political, like was I did exclusively for them, uploaded to their channel, was probably the most, most artsy piece I've ever made in my life. Hello? <laughs> I was still in college, got a call from Ben, he was like, can you make me some 70s funk music? And I 
was like, you know what, that's what I do. So we've done all these um, political sketches. Barack Obama does actually get elected in November 2008. And so now we want to do videos that aren't just about politics. So we start doing barely digital videos, which can be about tech and the internet and gaming and pop culture and a lot of other stuff. I did a song called YouTube Comment Fight. Uh, I did a Batman video with Rusty. And that was, that's one of my favorite uh, characters to play because it's, it, it's Batman, but it's sort of like an inept kind of Batman. Fatality. Master Wayne, you've just been pwned. And then I did some songs with um, Eric Beck from Indie Mogul and, and Mark um, that were kind of more science fiction-y, like I wanted to do, like the, um, we did uh, the Amazon Babe from Another Dimension and the Moon Babes and things like that. And that, that was a really fun experience for Mark and I to work together to create uh, songs like that. Our big series right now is The Key of Awesome, which is a pop music parody show starring Mark Douglas. Usually by the end of the week, I've, I've written like this sometimes scathing uh, song about the person, but uh, by the end of the week I end up kind of liking them, or at least respecting what they do. Because um, you realize how hard it is, especially if I have to sing like the person. I always like the music videos where there's a little story. And I don't even think of them as a music video with a song so much as I think of it's a little movie set to music. And this is kind of where it goes down right here. I mean, I make everything in the box, use a combination of Pro Tools, Reason, Ableton Live, every once in a while throw in one of my vintage synthesizers from home. In the future where everything is real. I get a phone call, it's like, hey, you kind of look like Kesha, which I didn't know it was a compliment or what. But I was like, okay, I'll do it, I'll do it. And thank God I did because it's a huge video. I feel pretty cool. I accomplished something in life. Hey. Being Lady Gaga, and that, that initial Lady Gaga video is definitely like my funnest shoot. So, I mean, going and doing that and actually getting to be Lady Gaga and just, okay, what would, how is Lady Gaga? is so much fun because I get to crawl on the floor and I get to be crazy because Lady Gaga is so crazy. YouTube's definitely changed my life. I, I have no idea what where I'd be right now without it and I uh, just want to say thanks. Thanks YouTube. Uh, you're alright. <sighs> I'm not gonna cry. So that's our Barely Political Story. You can see all 450 of our videos on our YouTube channel. And thank you very much for watching.